Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 back with another video. This time we're looking at a product from a company called Cable Creation. You can see it right there. And uh, I was contacted by them about a week ago and they asked if I was interested in checking out any of their cables. And normally cables don't really interest me, but this actually in particular is very useful for me. So I have a Dell XPS 13, which is a laptop with only USB-C ports on it. There are no full-size USB ports, so I carry literally a bunch of USB-C to full-size USB-A dongles around with me everywhere I go because that's the only way to plug in normal USB devices unless if I have USB-C to whatever else I happen to want to plug into it. Uh, but anyway, so it's constantly an annoyance. Sometimes I'll accidentally leave a cable at home or plugged into something and I can't find it. And it's just really annoying. So yeah, progress apparently. So I know, yeah, uh, this will actually solve my problem. It's basically like a dock uh, that has a USB-C cable on one end and a bunch of really useful, commonly used things uh, on the other. And so this will, will save me a lot of that trouble of having to have separate dongles just by including everything uh, on board. And you can see here, this is a 7-in-1 USB-C hub does HDMI, micro, and full-size SD, a USB 3, uh, has an onboard Type-C port, and Ethernet. So, yeah, and you can see the product number, CD0754, just rolls right off the tongue. Uh, yeah, and this guy, uh, you can see some of the specifications there. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head how much this cost. I, I want to say it was like somewhere around like 40 or 50 bucks, maybe. So it's not particularly cheap, but uh, this hopefully, we'll take a look at it in a second. Hopefully it's made very well uh, because I intend to, if, I, if I'm going to get something like this, I want to use it like forever until it breaks. Uh, so anyway, yeah, uh, we can open it here. There's a nice little pull tabby. And yeah, so we have pretty much just everything is uh, on this portion. Oh, wow. Comes with a nice, that's really nice. Yeah. Because I am going to just end up throwing this into my backpack. It comes with a really nice uh, it's sort of like a felt suede case. It's it's cloth. It's not like leather or anything like that. But yeah, this is really nice. This is, I will keep this in, you know, this uh, little travel pouch. Because yeah, this, otherwise this would directly get thrown into my backpack and probably scratched up. We have some paperwork here. Warranty card. Let's see how 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 long is the warranty? Uh, twenty so two years. Yeah, so that's lifetime technical support. Yeah, that they stand behind their products. That's good to see. And uh, we have very simple uh, specification card, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, I mean, let's just take a look at the unit itself. That's the important bit. So, like I said. Yeah, the cable's really nice. It's like thick kind of silicone, I guess, is the material. That's really nice. I like that. And we have the dock itself is in here. And uh, gold-plated, too, so that's very nice. That'll... I, I know a lot of plugs that I have, uh, if they're not like gold-plated, they'll get kind of a bit corroded over time. And, I mean, you can usually, like, wipe it off. But, yeah, gold plating is just a nice nice extra to have. Yeah, Really nice cord on this. This is about six inches long. It's, it's not really made to be super long. You're supposed to have this on the desk next, next to your laptop or whatever. And another thing is a lot of smartphones are starting to have USB-C uh, cable or ports on them. And I believe this will work. I will test it um, in a couple of minutes. But... Yeah, I'm pretty sure, I have no doubt, that uh, if you plug this into a smartphone with USB on the go, that all the ports and everything should work. Uh, this body is plastic. Uh, it's pretty decent quality. It feels like ABS. Yeah, it just has the uh, company name on there, Cable Creation. And yeah, we have a certification on the back there. There we go. CE and FCC, and we have our Ethernet with the little LEDs in there. 
let's just yeah there we go so yeah we have the indication LEDs so they'll light up I'm guessing once you uh, plug in an Ethernet cable okay so here we have USB-C and it has like a DC power symbol so I'm guessing that even though I plug this into my laptop I can actually plug in my power adapter to here and it'll charge it through the cable too that's really nice so I don't have to leave a, a spare port always plugged into AC here we have two 3.0 ports, and if I tilt it, so yeah, if we uh, look in there, you can see the extra contacts on the front, so these are USB 3 ports. We have the micro SD card slot, full size, that's really nice having one or the other. I have a feeling you can't have both populated at once, they're probably just wired in parallel. But yeah, it's nice to have either full size or micro. We have a HDMI port there as well, so we can get video out, that's going to be really nice. And nothing on the other end. So, yeah. Uh, I guess the only thing left to do is uh, plug this into my laptop, do some testing. And also, I want to plug this into, like, my uh, Samsung smartphone. Yeah. Interestingly enough, this will actually fit in on the outside of the case if you wanted to. Or you could put it on the inside, I guess. But, yeah. So, yeah, let's uh, run this through its paces. I'm going to actually act test this out. Make sure that the transfer speeds are all like USB 3 and uh, I'll meet you guys in a sec Okay, sorry for the messy setup um, This is the only monitor that I haven't packed up yet. By the way, I'm moving so yeah, things are a bit uh, Messed up right now and messy while I try to box everything up. Anyway, I have the cable creation dock here and uh, I have plugged into it my favorite uh, wireless keyboard, just over RF there, and I have a USB thumb drive plugged in. I have HDMI plugged in to an adapter because this monitor only has VGA. It doesn't do digital video, unfortunately. So I have a VGA to HDMI adapter, and that requires its own power supply, which I have plugged into a uh, just a power bank right now. Obviously, you don't need all this adapter solution if you just have an HDMI monitor. Anyway, let's uh, do a quick demo. I'm actually filming on a different camera than I started the video. This was a camera I was filming on. Well, I say camera. It's a smartphone. Uh, this is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. And I am using this because this has DeX mode, which is really awesome. So I uh, can plug this in over USB-C. There we go. So the display on here is to connect it to external display. And here we go. So this is uh, DeX mode. You can either have it mirror the uh, phone screen or this is the desktop environment for Android, basically, that Samsung implemented. Now, I've actually tested this with my laptop. I don't have room to drag that up here right now. Works perfectly fine. No issues there. I just wanted to see if I could use this to make a portable desktop, basically, just using a phone, uh, because this is awesome. So I have my wireless keyboard set up. Uh, yeah, you can see my mouse cursor. Let me uh, shut the blind so that the glare is not so glaring. So yeah, I have my mouse set up. This works kind of exactly as you'd expect. Here are all my apps. I can exit out. You have your like, home button, uh, recents, and all that kind of stuff. And it works kind of exactly as you'd expect. Um, so this is actually really cool. I wasn't sure if this would work. Not all video doc output thingies work with um, Dex mode. And like uh, another idea that I have is I'd like to use this with my Nintendo Switch, um, which would be really cool. And yeah, this works kind of just as you'd expect. They're, they're little windows and uh, you can maximize them, minimize them, exit out. You can have multiple things open. You can pin them. You could do picture-in-picture picture sort of things where you split the screen. It works exactly as you'd expect. So we can exit out of that. So um, I don't have any speakers on this, I believe. So there's probably not going to be audio. I don't think on this monitor there is. But let's uh, fire up Aether SX2, which this uh, phone is a beast of a phone. It has a Snapdragon 860 or something around there. So it should be able to run pretty much anything. So let's just uh, fire up, I don't know. You know what, Half-Life. <laughs> yeah, if I had a Bluetooth controller, this would be like way easier to uh, to set up here. So whatever, let's just get in here. 
Yeah, and I mean, this is more about the phone itself, but yeah, it's running at a steady uh, 60 FPS, uh, just a little bit under, like 59 point something. And yeah, we are freaking playing <laughs> Half-Life on a smartphone uh, emulating PS2, which is kind of insane at full speed. And outputting it over a monitor, um, resolution on this, it this this adapter can do easily, I'm pretty sure it can do at least 1080p. I'm pretty sure there are higher video modes that it can do as well. But this monitor I have is a HF205. I think it's only like... I don't even think this is 1080p. I think it's a little higher than 720p. This is an old monitor, a hands free. <laughs> I got this at a thrift store for, I think, like five bucks like years ago. And I just use this as my monitor because uh, it's kind of the smallest. It's not as large as my other monitors and it fits well on this desk. So whatevs. Anyway, yeah, uh, we can see here. I can just go in here and pause it and uh, exit back out i can bring up this guy it's just kind of like windows i mean i can exit out bam closes the app i can um go into internet browser yeah whatever i can go to a site like hackaday now it should load yeah and there we go cookies, whatever. And there we go. I'm browsing the web. <laughs> Let's uh, load up YouTube. Let's find where YouTube is, actually. Uh, here we go. Okay. Open this up. And let's just search my channel. I wonder, just uh, see if uh, audio works. Oh, apparently, <laughs> okay, I did not expect this. Audio does work. Uh, apparently, this does have speakers because it's uh, transmitting the audio over HDMI. Yeah, okay, I forgot. This adapter actually does have an aux output, and apparently this monitor has... Uh, speakers. Hey there YouTube, this is SJM 4306. Just Back pause. Scroll through, scrub through, whatever. Yeah. That works. <laughs> and it has audio. Okay, wow. So what do I think of this adapter? Uh, works great. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, demo. Let's just see the uh, USB ports. Well, obviously data is working for the uh, keyboard. So it's complaining I had a thumb drive plugged in and I hot swapped it. Does not like that. Uh, I should be able to go into my files. And USB storage one. I have a 16 gig USB drive plugged in. I have a video file on here. It's one of my videos, my channel trailer. And I can open it here. This is SJM4306. down the audio on that yeah um the video is like well like the video output of this not necessarily this video this video was taking a lower resolution but in terms of like the actual resolution of the display looks fantastic uh like i said because this monitor doesn't have a high enough resolution mode i don't know if i can actually check the resolution here but yeah you could see like the actual text itself it's rather blocky this monitor doesn't have a particularly high resolution. I don't think there's a way for me to uh, to check exactly what the resolution is. But I think last I checked, it was something like um, like 1280 by 720 ish, something like that. So it's about 720p. Uh, but everything looks fantastic on it. The dock. Uh, I've never had it not work when I plugged it in. Um, I've used USB three devices on it. Like thumb drives, I was able to ferry files back and forth uh, on my laptop, and that worked just fine. I see no reason why this wouldn't work on uh, Android as well. And yeah, so overall, actually really happy with this. Let's just unplug this once again. 
And uh, yeah, so if you are looking for like a really small portable dock, uh, definitely highly recommend this. This is slightly warm. <laughs> and the cool thing about this is if you have um, power plugged into here, there actually is a type C power port. Uh, you can plug in your like laptop power supply, and then if you have an Android device plugged in over USB sending video, it'll also charge your phone at the same time that uh, is transmitting the video. It does the same thing with my laptop as well, but one thing I noticed, I have a 45-watt adapter plugged into here, and the laptop reports that it's slow charging for some reason. I'm guessing... Uh, this device power limits uh, so it's not able to send the full like whatever 40 or 50 watts through this cable so it uh, limits the current so my laptop will slow charge while plugged into this but I've seen a lot of other docks that won't even charge my laptop at all so it'll drain the whole time even if you have an AC adapter plugged into this side uh, but this guy won't it'll actually charge my laptop albeit at a slower speed but I'm fine with that uh, but on Android, it'll, it seems to charge it kind of at a normal rate because the Android devices like this phone don't seem to consume like a massive amount of power anyway. So yeah, overall, uh, pretty impressed with this. Uh, it's really useful having like all these extra ports and stuff, uh, that phones don't have. And my laptop, which is a Dell XPS 13, doesn't have a lot of ports on it, only has type C ports on it, uh, which drives me nuts because I need a million dongles. But with this, I was able to actually uh, clone one hard drive, one USB hard drive to another uh, using just this, um, no other external uh, dongles or docks or whatever. And the uh, the transfer speed was decently fast. It was like somewhere like upwards of like 80 megabytes a second or something. Uh, but that is not just a, f a function of the chipset in here, but it's also a function of the, the drive controller that's in whatever adapter and whatever um, USB case that you're using for your hard drives. But yeah. I'm actually pretty impressed with this. I like, I really like that it comes with a really nice carrying case, which I think is in my backpack downstairs right now. Uh, but it's really nice that it comes with that. I, I just have this shoved into the front pocket, and then I have a bunch of other cables uh, that I want, might want to use with this, like a short HDMI cable and all this stuff, uh, shoved into the main body of the uh, of the little uh, like velveteen carrying case it comes with. And that's my everyday carry now. I will be uh, carrying this along with me uh, everywhere I go because, like I said, modern laptops tend to, like really small slimline factor ones, uh, tend to not have a lot of ports anymore, which is kind of sad. But yeah, just buy one of these adapters and you're good to go. Uh, it's not ideal um, having like a, an extra thing dangling off your laptop, but I think it's better, honestly, than having a, a bunch of separate dongles for each of these functions. This combines everything into one. And you'll save a little bit money too, uh, because you're not buying eight dongles. You're just buying this one that'll do Ethernet, HDMI, SD card reader, two USB 3.0 ports, and uh, power power delivery input uh, to whatever de device you plug in there. Anyway, uh, once again, huge thanks to Cable Creation for sending this guy in for review. Uh, this is definitely highly recommended if you're like a road warrior like me and you travel around a lot with. Um, like portable phones that can do video output and or laptops. Uh, definitely give these a check out. They have uh, this available, I believe, in two colors, a lighter color, like a silver or white, I believe, and the black one that I have. And they have a bunch of other different models. If you don't need the Ethernet, you can get a model of this without the Ethernet that's a little bit cheaper and et cetera, et cetera. Some of them have, you know, different number of ports and whatnot. So anyway, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.